wow this is so crazy <laughs> like really crazy this is the day Ambra Gutierrez thought would never come wow There has been a verdict in the Harvey Weinstein rape trial. Harvey Weinstein found guilty of rape and criminal sexual assault. Hers was that nervous voice on the audio tape secretly recorded five years ago. So no. you touch my breast. Oh, please, I'm sorry, just come on in. Ambra confronting Harvey Weinstein while bravely wearing a wire for the NYPD. I'm feeling very uncomfortable please right now. Please come in now. In 2017, those tapes became public when Ambra shared them with journalist Ronan Farrow. Her courageous action helped set in motion an avalanche of accusations against the movie mogul. More than 90 women have accused Weinstein of sexual misconduct, including prominent Hollywood actresses like Rose McGowan. I thought he was a war hog from hell. And Ashley Judd. I thought no meant no. Today's verdict, a day of reckoning for women like Ambra, who say they finally feel heard. Hi, Rosanna. On the other end of that call, actress Rosanna Arquette, who also accused Weinstein of sexual misconduct. I'm so happy, but I can't stop crying. I don't know, it's so weird. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't imagine how the others are feeling right now, you know? I'll call you later. Bye bye. Weinstein, once one of the most powerful men in Hollywood, is in custody tonight, convicted of rape and sexual assault. When the bell rang, everybody was in shock. The jurors were uniformly stone faced during the reading of the verdicts. This was a particularly dramatic moment. When he heard the word guilty, definitely a lack of emotion, lack of um, anything on his face, and he was shocked. The charges and convictions in this case are centered around the accusations of just two women, Jessica Mann and Mimi Halehi, who's represented by Gloria Allred. She has invested so much time in working with law enforcement and what was a very brutal cross-examination. And she went through all of that for the cause of justice. What was Mimi's reaction? Well, she's very happy. Mimi Halehi was a production assistant on Project Runway, a Weinstein production. She says Weinstein sexually assaulted her at his Soho apartment in 2006. I told him no, 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 but he insisted. Mimi testified that he grabbed her, tried to kiss her, she resisted, that he forced her onto the bed, that he pulled out her tampon and then engaged in a forced act of oral sex on her. The jury found Weinstein guilty of criminal sexual assault tied to that incident. In the end, these jurors clearly found her to be credible, and they found her account to be credible. And it's important to remember that the other witnesses who testified in this case about Harvey Weinstein doing things very similar to them probably bolstered Mimi Halei's story as well. Weinstein was also convicted of the third-degree rape of Jessica Mann, an aspiring actress who worked as a hairstylist. Jessica Mann's testimony was by far the most complicated and complex testimony throughout the entire case because she admitted on the stand that while Harvey Weinstein allegedly raped her, she continued in a consensual relationship with him over the course of five years. The defense pointing to emails and text messages she sent to Weinstein after the assault, highlighting lines like, as always, I am happy to see your smile. Thank you for your unfailing support and kindness. I love you. I always do. But I hate feeling like a booty call. Communication purportedly showing her affection for Weinstein. I think this case may lead to a, a better understanding of rape, how it can happen, when it can happen, to whom it can happen, and that could embolden prosecutors and victims to come forward more and take more chances in prosecuting cases that maybe 10 years ago prosecutors would have thought uh, they couldn't win. The disgraced Hollywood power broker was acquitted on three other charges, including first-degree rape and two counts of predatory sexual assault, avoiding a potential life sentence. This was about two cases both of which had issues. And the fact that a prosecutors got convictions on both of them is a big win. 
His lawyers are appealing. I was seated to his immediate left, and he just looked at me, and he just said, I'm innocent, but I'm innocent. You know, how could this happen in America? I'm innocent. And obviously that's a very difficult thing for the, uh, the legal team to absorb because you feel, you feel somewhat like you failed him. Um, but let's face it, the, the deck was stacked so heavily against him from the very beginning. I was surprised to hear that Harvey Weinstein was surprised at the verdict today and that he was saying, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. Harvey, I can tell you this, you were presumed innocent unless and until you were proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. That happened today. So you are no longer legally innocent. Before the verdict was read, three officer, court officers surrounded Harvey Weinstein's chair. Once he had been found guilty of two counts and the judge had made a, made a decision to remand him without bail, those three court officers slowly lifted him up. He had very little expression on his face. It was very hard to tell what it was he was thinking. And they very slowly hobbled him out of the side door of the courtroom and into custody for the first time in his life. Weinstein's conviction caps a stunning fall from grace for the movie mogul. I would like to thank Harvey Weinstein. Thank you to Harvey. Harvey, thank you for killing whoever you had to kill to get me up here today. Harvey Weinstein used to be this very charismatic guy and always the center of attention and life of the party. Then in the courtroom, you saw this man who looked old, feeble, and weak. He was entering the courtroom with a walker. He apparently had a car accident over the summer that caused nerve pain in his back. And as a result, he has said, or his attorneys have said, that he needed this walker. He got an operation uh, on his back right before the trial, uh, again, according to his defense team. The Weinstein that we saw in court was a significantly different man than the one that you see in the pictures of People magazine. Prosecutors say Weinstein used his significant power and influence to lure women in and then scare them into silence. Women like Amber Gutierrez. He asked me if my breast was real. And at that question, I was like, I didn't know how to answer, but I said, uh, yes. And I don't know how, but like his hands were on my breast. And I freezed because I didn't know how to, to react to it. Then when he put his hand on my leg and asked me to kiss him, I moved myself away from it. Amber says she was a 22-year-old model when Weinstein groped her at his New York office. I started to say, I'm sorry, I, I don't do these things. I, I need to know a person before being touched. And he said, yes, okay, of course, I understand. Uh, maybe not here. I'll, I'll see you later for a drink. And he just walked out. She says she immediately went to the NYPD, who asked her to meet Weinstein again this time wearing that wire. Feeling very uncomfortable right Please now. come in now. Ambra says Weinstein invited her to one of his shows and then took her to a hotel afterwards. Undercover detectives were waiting at the bar. Yesterday you touched my breast. Oh, please, I'm sorry, just come on, I'm used to that. Are you used to that? Yes, come in. Yes. No, but I'm not used to that. Ambra says she left quickly and handed the recording over to police. I was so happy, I thought he would have gone to jail at that time um, that they put him in jail right away and then everything unfolded into my worst nightmare <laughs> despite the evidence the manhattan district attorney's office declined to prosecute her case she never got her day in court making today's verdict even more poignant i'm working so much right now on getting back the years that i lost but the fact that at least i'm i'm getting there it makes me feel alive. I think many other women who've been watching, victims, know that courage can be rewarded. And I say courage is contagious. When we come back, we take you inside the courtroom with one of the women who testified against Harvey Weinstein. I had never replayed it for anybody like that before. That was definitely the hardest because when you say it out loud, it becomes a little more real.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.